I have a Roku Streaming Stick Plus here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. So really quickly, what comes out of the box? First thing, you get a quick startup guide here. We have the Streaming Stick here. And this is what it looks like. Close up. You have the HDMI part here, which we put plug this into the HDMI port on your TV or monitor. And on the other side here is for the power cable, which you're going to connect into here. So this right here is the power cable. So this part here, we're going to plug into there. And then this part here, what we can do is we can, if we have an open USB port, we can try that, okay? This is only going to provide power. If you have any issues or anything like that, then they actually recommend using a wall outlet, okay? Now we have a USB extension here. So we can actually use, if you don't have an open port, USB port on your TV, or if you had issues using this as the power source, you want to go ahead and try to connect to a wall adapter, okay? So if your wall adapter is super close, you can go ahead and use this. But if it's kind of far, then you want to go ahead and use the extension here. You can plug this USB part into there, and then this part you want to put into there, okay? Of course, we get a remote here, and we get two AAA batteries. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab your uh, streaming stick, and then grab the power cable. And the first thing we're going to do, again, this is the power cable here. We're going to go ahead and connect the micro USB into the... Um, into the port on the streaming stick. So we're going to plug this in. Now I'm going to grab the stick just like this. I'm going to plug it into the USB port on the back of my TV. So I see I have one um, HDMI port open right here. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this right into there. Now for the other end here, the USB part. Now take note, if you have an open USB slot, you can go ahead and try to plug that in there to give it power. The thing is, sometimes you have issues, like Roku recommends you not using it on your TV, actually using a, a power adapter uh, and uh, plug it into a, a wall. So that's what I'm going to do instead, instead of trying to plug it in there. So here's the USB part. And like I said, I'm going to plug this into the wall outlet. So what I have to use is the extension here. So it will actually reach my... Um, my wall outlet. So let me plug this end to here and then this end here, another USB here, we're going to grab the wall adapter here and plug it into the wall. So after you plugged it in and gave it power, turn on your TV and now you want to go to the correct HDMI port. I think I put it in HDMI 1. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that's it. Now we need to pair the remote. So now we're going to go ahead and insert the batteries into the remote. Go ahead and pop the back off. Slide the back out like this. Get your two AAA batteries. Make sure you put these in correctly. And it should pair automatically. You see that green flashing light right there. And something should happen on the screen here. Give it one second. Oh, this just popped up. All right, we're ready to rock and roll the setup here. So go ahead and choose your language now. I'm gonna go with English, click on OK. I'm going to go ahead and set up to our home Wi-Fi network here. So let me set up my home Wi-Fi network here. Let me go ahead and put my password in. After you put in your password, you're going to go all the way down to connect. So highlight connect, press OK on the remote, and hopefully that's the right password. OK, looks like that was the right password. Now it's going to go ahead and give me the latest update. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK on the remote. Once the updated software is uh, installed, it's going to go ahead and reboot reboot the TV or your monitor. TV is now restarting. Set up display time. We're going to go ahead and it's already highlighted auto detect display type. Go ahead and click on OK. Then click on OK. And does your screen look good? No, or choose different setting. I'm fine with this setting here. Everything looks good. I'm going to click on OK. Now it says TV power and volume can be controlled with your Roku remote. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check uh, remote settings here. Click on OK. Do I hear music playing? Yes. Has the music stopped playing? No. Okay, so this didn't detect my TV. It probably detected yours, but it did, didn't detect mine. I can go ahead and set this up later or I'll do it now. Let me just go ahead and do it now. I'll enter my TV brand in now so we get the power button and the volume controls working. Okay, now here's the thing with my, my TV here is a TCL Smart TV. It's a TCL um, Roku TV here, okay? So 
I can't put in, if I put in my brand TCL, it doesn't work. I have experience with these Roku TVs before. I just had to put in Roku, okay? I hope that doesn't confuse you, but my TV is actually a TCL Roku TV. So instead of TCL, I'm just gonna put in Roku. Oops. Now I typed in Roku, now I can see TCL Roku up there. So let me move to the right, let me go down. TCL Roku, that's my TV right now. Do I hear music? Yes. Has the music stopped playing? Yes, it stopped playing. Success, your remote TV is set up for control of TV's power and volume. So if I tap on the power, it should turn off my TV and the volume rockers should be working as well. You can see the volume working right there. So we're good to go. Okay, we'll go ahead and okay that. Now we have to go ahead and activate our Roku, Roku player. You have to do this every Roku device that you have, okay, in order for you to proceed. So if you don't have a Roku account, you need to go ahead and sign up for one right now. Go to Roku.com and sign up, okay? Uh, once you sign up, go back here and it says enter your email address. So let's go ahead and put in your uh, email address in here. So I just put in my email address, my email address that I signed up with my Roku account. And then when you do that, you want to go down to continue, click on OK. So now it says activation link was sent to my email. So, all right, you can go ahead and check your email. You can be on your phone or a computer, doesn't matter. I'm going to do it on my phone, but I see I just got the uh, Roku activate your device email. Now I have to go ahead and tap on this right here. Once you open the email, Roku device activation link. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And then we can go ahead and fill this information in. Device name, that's fine. Roku Streaming Stick Plus. Uh, location, where's it at? Let me go ahead and just, I'll just say living room here. I have read everything. Tap on that. And then you want to go ahead and tap on continue. Now from here, you can go ahead, you can click on OK if you want them to personalize your channels and offers. I don't want to, I don't need anything extra. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. Now this page here pops up, add more channels to your Roku home. You can go ahead and look through this. You can add whatever you want on here, okay? I'm just gonna go all the way down. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on continue. Okay, we're done this. And now the TV should be, okay, now it just started to do an automatic uh, channel update here. So let's go ahead and wait. And we're done uh, with the phone. So now we're just gonna wait for this to get done. So we're still waiting for the uh, channel update. You can see it's adding Netflix, a bunch of other apps too. Channel update basically means app update, okay? So the channel updates or app updates are done. Now it says all done here. Go ahead and press on the right button on the remote. Now, here's a, um, Let's get you an, a, a, here's an a intro. Of your with your remote. That was the Roku intro. You can skip it, just click on the back button. But anyway, we're here. We're all set up. You can see all the apps that they installed for me. I got Sling, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and so on. Of course, you can add more apps in here. You can you can uninstall these or whatnot. But anyway, we're up and running. Any questions or anything like that, uh, just comment below. All right? Good luck, guys.